17 years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had a really difficult time getting my life back on track and figuring out what was next for me. I call it the year from hell. I lost my son that year, it was 2006. Casey uh, passed away in Alaska. They found him dead on a boat in Alaska and uh, no apparent reasons and two autopsies and some hard stuff. And I had to figure out a way to get my life back going again. Well, I was diagnosed seven months after Casey died with stage three breast cancer. So for four years, I floundered and I really didn't know how I was gonna get my life back going again. But I went on a trip to Greece with nine other moms who had also lost a child and I was validated and I knew exactly what I was gonna do when I got home. And that was start a nonprofit and start helping women with their self-esteem in some fashion. I knew I couldn't help moms who had lost a child, way too difficult. But I knew that I could help women who'd gone through breast cancer like myself. I'm Deb Hart, I'm the founder of Pink Sisters. We've been existing for 10 years now. Pink Sisters is an organization that we, uh, in July through September, we do day retreats. We also do some three-day retreats. This is at no cost to all survivors. Last year I had 130 women come to the retreats. We have them right here on the river. The background that you're seeing today is the location at the Will Jan Marina. They arrive at 1030. They go home at 3. I teach them to paddleboard and kayak, do some yoga stretches, we have lunch on the Columbia River, and thank you, John Weston and the Weston family, we have a party barge boat to go out on. We also have pink flamingos. It's all about that pink, you know, and they have that opportunity also to float in pink flamingos. And it's really about building their self-esteem and laughing out loud. And of course, hopefully, they've heard someone else's story within the group that resonates with them. Pink Sisters has been truly a healing journey for me. After losing my son and going through breast cancer stage three, uh, my whole world was tipped upside down. And there was a lot of things in the four years that it took me to get back going again that I understood. And one of them was giving back to a community and helping other people. And so I had to figure that out. And so with Pink Sisters being in, in the existence of 10 years, we have some huge, huge sponsors. And not only that, but we have a lot of people in the community who donate. And without their donations, Pink Sisters doesn't exist. I don't get paid. I'm a volunteer, just like my board of directors. And all of the programs that we do are at no cost to all survivors. Pink Sisters is a huge resource to this community. I started out in the gorge and quickly understood that there were so many women being diagnosed with breast cancer throughout the Portland, Vancouver, um, Seattle, Corvallis. I can tell you that these women come from all over. And you know, one of the things with this pandemic is I can tell you for a fact Nothing has changed. Breast cancer survivors are still being diagnosed daily. So we have existed throughout the whole pandemic, just done it a little differently, but we have supported a lot of survivors. I call them survivors, but I like to also make sure that People who are watching this video know that there is a difference between the survivor and the thriver. There are a lot of women who are diagnosed terminal with breast cancer or are terminal at some point. And I like to be really sensitive to that and be able to say that they are thrivers. All of the women, most of the women say to me at the retreats, no one understands. It's definitely a sisterhood and so this opportunity to get together with other 
survivors slash thrivers is pretty powerful and pretty amazing. And the people that they're sharing their story with and spending time with that day, laughing out loud that day, they get it all. They get it all. Sometimes you'll hear a survivor say, I don't really want to hear from my neighbor or my friends or my family that want to offer up a suggestion on how I should do my treatment or how I should get on the horse that bucked me off and get back going again because they don't get it. They just don't get it. I've been a part of the chamber in Gresham for one year. I just paid my dues for Pink Sisters. And this community in Gresham, Fairview, Troutdale, the Columbia River Gorge that I know so well is extremely compassionate about community members. And they are very supportive of what I've done and what I've created from a grassroots um, nonprofit. There are a lot of nonprofits out there, trust me. But this nonprofit, Pink Sisters, is one of the nonprofits that no one's paid. So all of the money goes back to the programs that we do. And I think that alone speaks volume to have Pink Sisters in the community and being a huge part of the community. Not just taking from the community, but giving to the community. My board members say to me all the time, we need to get you some more help so you're not so overworked with the retreats and all the fundraising that you do. My board members all work. So they don't have the same amount of time that I have to dedicate to Pink Sisters. I'm going to be 67 years old in April and I can tell you for sure that 10 years ago I had more energy 10 years ago. What is the future to Pink Sisters? What else would I do? I think I'm going to probably do Pink Sisters till I'm 90 because it's all from my heart. I love, love, love what I get to do as a facilitator and a director, a board member, a community member, and man, I've met some amazing people at the chamber in Gresham. I love what I do, and I think I'm really good at it, too. <laughs> Gresham is small, friendly, compassionate. The word love comes to mind. Better together because every organization that I belong to in Gresham, every store that I go into, they're all working for the better of Gresham. I love my community. I'm a small town girl. I'm a mom. I'm a facilitator. I'm the director. I'm the founder of Pink Sisters. Pink Sisters has been the love of my heart for the past 10 years. And what we do and make a difference in breast cancer survivors slash thrivers uh, lives is amazing. In fact, I can't even say that amazing is the correct word. It's over and above amazing. It's phenomenal.